A former New York County uh, police chief accused of derailing the high-profile Gilgo Beach murders investigation is facing a growing rap sheet tonight. James Burke inherited the Gilgo Beach case when he became chief of Suffolk County Police in 2012. He resigned three years later just before he was arrested for beating a suspect in police custody and then covering it up. An attorney for some of the Gilgo Beach victims says Burke blocked the FBI from the case during his tenure to cover up his own wrongdoings. And now he is facing new charges for allegedly soliciting a sex worker at a public park in Long Island. News Nation's Sloan Glass is live for us tonight with all of these wild new developments. Sloan. Brian, Burke's latest arrest will only add to the criticism that Suffolk County has faced for their handling of the Gilgo Beach murder investigation. For over a decade, the serial murders went relatively cold, and many blamed former chief of police James Burke. He once ruled the county, and now they are the same county that have put him in handcuffs again. Suffolk County officials tell us Burke is charged with offering a sex act public lewdness and decent exposure, and criminal solicitation with additional potential charges pending. Burke was allegedly soliciting sex this morning from a male undercover park ranger near a Vietnam War memorial. Was he attempting to get out of being arrested? Uh, yes, he was. Could you describe that? Um, well, he was expressing to us how um, this would, uh, you know, be a public humiliation for him and such. While serving as a sergeant in the 90s, Burke was under investigation after he was caught sleeping with a sex worker in his police car while on duty. Years later, Burke was appointed chief of police. Burke led the Suffolk County Police Department, one of the nation's largest police forces, between 2012 and 2015. His tenure as police chief began several months after the bodies were initially found on Gilgo Beach. Then, in 2016, Burke was convicted of battering a suspect and attempting to cover up his actions after a thief had broken into the police chief's car and stolen a duffel bag containing porn and sex toys. Now, Burke's been arrested again, accused by park rangers of soliciting a male undercover park ranger. Burke was also accused of keeping the FBI out of the Gilgo Beach investigation. Last month, nearly 13 years after the first bodies were found, Rex Heuerman was arrested and charged with murder in the deaths of three of the women dumped near Ocean Parkway. Attorney John Ray, who represents the families of Gilgo Beach victims, Jessica Taylor and Shannon Gilbert, had this to say on Burke's arrest. I have stated publicly several times that Burke has a perversion where he would dress up as a woman having sex and smoking crack. This arrest confirmed everything I said about this pervert, and he was in charge of the entire investigation of Oak Beach and Gilgo Beach, and that says it all. He definitely played a direct role in suppressing the investigation of Gilgo Beach and Oak Beach. The ex-chief of police allegedly told officials as he was being arrested as an attempt to get out of arrest, quote, do you know who I am? Brian. Wow. I mean, this story has so many twists and turns. I don't think anybody saw this development coming quite like this. Like this. Sloan Glass, thank you so much. Thanks so much for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.